I think we've always been that generation that likes to ask a lot of questions. The who's, what's, where's, why's, and how's. And then what happens is we don't know what to do with it once we get the answer. Or do we settle on what the answer is, not really still trying to get the truth? But we do ask questions. I am a professional interviewer. I talk with creative people all over the world. And questions are how I lead my life. But when people turn things around and start asking me questions, then I sit here and wonder, am I going to say the right thing? Are they going to believe it? Are they going to trust it? Can they learn from it? I put a lot of thought into my answers. Even when I'm defragging, I'm asking the questions and I'm questioning the answers. And that's what being an interviewer is all about. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, a silent wolf. I sit on the edge of the forest and I just watch life. I observe it. I listen to it. I feel the atmosphere of everything that is right now. This is The Daily Mess. Showing up to the performance, the expectation, the mountain, and the wall. Being there physically when your heart wants a different journey. A good friend or a co-worker recently asked me the most oddball question. He said, what is the worst anger that you have ever felt? Huh? What is the worst anger you have ever felt? My mind went into every direction. Anger is such a huge part of every person's day. But to pinpoint that one moment that earned the label of being the angriest of all anger... My first step was to get my emotions under control. Don't allow such a mental research process take over whatever mood I was in. But Ryan was relentless. He wanted to have an answer. He's constantly asking me questions such as, how hard did your dad hit you when you were a kid? Oh, did it hurt when you fell off that very tall clothesline in Montana? And now he wants to know the angriest of my anger. I don't know where my answer came from. I just know that when I shared it, it had to be in a way that was calm, very calm, and it didn't show any type of emotion such as pain. But the answer that I gave him, I lifted both of my arms and I showed Ryan 37 razor blade cuts, the scars. And I looked at him and I said, Ryan, it took a lot of really bad anger to do this to myself. This is the angriest. I've ever been. I believe that staying calm and not raising my voice or showing a little bit of, you know, like, why are you doing this? You know, you're getting disappointed in him. But being in that moment of calmness, I'm hoping that when he received it, he understood that, yes, it took a lot of anger to create those scars. But I have forgiven myself. Those days are in my past, and there's really no reason to talk about it. It shows that anger can be under control if you put something in there called love and forgiveness. Grow from there. Listen to your own heart and try to find the path to your calm. And when somebody does come up to you, and sometimes it's our own kids, they'll come up and ask some of the most oddball questions. Rather than let it irritate you, like my father, he would get angry when I would bring up some really stupid questions. But is there really a stupid question? And if somebody is asking you something privately about your life, you do have the right to say, no, not today. No, there's no reason why we should visit that area. So the question for you is, will you listen Will you react? How will you react? And when you get there, was it the best that you could offer? I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.